Hi, this is Mark McKay, and I'm going to give uh, another walkthrough of the Perspective uh, JavaScript plugin that I wrote for Photoshop. This time I'm going to go through a simple uh, two-point perspective setup. I'm going to click on File, New to Create a New Document, and uh, then we're going to start off by adding in one of our perspective grids. I'm going to click over on Paths, and then I'm going to go to File, scripts and I can click on perspective grids. Now this is a script that I installed in Photoshop by copying it into the uh, presets scripts directory. Um, this is going to be available on my website so if you want to use this plugin too you can uh, just go to my website, download it, copy it into your own directory and it will be there. Um, I'll, I'll post the link in the comment section. So you're going to click on perspective grids and that brought up a dialog which uh, has all the various grids that you can create on it. Just uh, going through them quickly. Uh, we're, go we're interested in the vanishing point here and we're just going to go with the defaults to create... actually let's, let's bump that up to four rings uh, and click OK to get a nice four ringed perspective grid. Now each ring just has an extra set of uh, divisions in them to uh, split up the space even smaller. But uh, you can see um, this is a little bit small, so we're going to press Control T and scale that uh, so that it covers the area that we're interested in. And we're going to offset that in the center a little bit. It's often a good idea to put vanishing points towards the edge when you're doing two-point perspective. Bring that up a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'm going to press Enter to confirm. And let us, now this is the vanishing point we're going to be using mostly for depth. This is the one that really recedes into the distance. Uh, for distance, I like to think that is the Z axis and use blue. So I'm going to select blue there. Go back to our layers. We're going to create a new layer that is going to have our grid lines on it. I'm going to call it uh, vanishing point uh, Z. And now I'm going to go back to paths and I'm going to use the brush. And you see our brush has a, a one pixel thickness to it, which is what we want. So we're going to right click on Perspective Parallel Lines, click Stroke Path, and OK. And what that did, you might see a slight blue shift over here. Once I click off Parallel Lines and zoom in, and you can see that it's laid down a whole bunch of these parallel blue lines that we can use for perspective. If you click on the layers, can see that it wrote them right over top of that line there. And that's good, that's what we want. That's our first set of parallel lines, our uh, perspective lines for a vanishing point. Now, because it's two point uh, perspective, we want a second vanishing point. So let's create another layer. Go back to paths, we're going to select our parallel lines, and press Control T so we can move them. And I'm going to hold down Shift so that we move in a straight line so that the horizon line doesn't change. Just going to move that across. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And if you've ever done two point perspective before, you know one of the problems that you have is that um, often it's a good idea, you know, having both vanishing points on the same piece of paper is often not what you want. So, um, that nice thing about Photoshop and the lines is you can move those lines way offside and uh, you don't have to worry about really extending your drawing just to make sure you get the extra vanishing point in there. So I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger so that it covers our entire image and make sure that the horizon line is still in about the right place. Zooming in close because let's move that up just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. The horizon line is about right. Oh, but we move that into the center. So I'm going to press a shift uh, and move that out again. So you might have to do this a couple of times uh, in order to make sure everything uh, comes to the right size. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Shift, grow that a little bit more. Okay. That down, make sure those horizon lines match up. Looks good. Okay, that 
and maybe move that out. Okay, that should be good. That should give us a nice, uh, nice set of uh, vanishing points with one of the vanishing points way off to the side. Now, because that vanishing point is more on the horizontal, uh, the horizontal is kind of like. Oh, and press enter to confirm. Uh, because the uh, horizon line is, uh, because that vanishing point is off to the side, it's more like a horizontal, so let's call that uh, uh, vanishing point x. Because it's it's sort it's sort of it's more horizontal than the Z. It's not completely horizontal, but it's sort of horizontal. And uh, because it's an X, let's stroke that with red. Has uh, right click stroke path. Click OK. And uh, wait for it to finish. And click off that. Now if we zoom in again, see we have those nice parallel red lines there. So if we uh, and each on their own layer. So right, right away we're off to a good start. We have our vanishing point for distance, we have our vanishing point for to the side. The last thing we need is a set of vertical lines because we're doing two point perspective to give us the up and down. So let's create another layer, go back to paths, and go with file, uh, scripts, perspective grids. This time we're going to uh, create some parallel lines Let's create uh, 100 of them, and let's see. Um, because we want them to uh, span, uh, okay, because we, we want them to go vertical rather than horizontal, let's make that angle 90. Uh, we know our document is about, it's less than 3,000 pixels across, so let's say that's 300 across. And the line length, we know what the uh, height of it is, I think it's 1,000 something, so let's just make that 2000 just to be safe. Click OK. And there, that created a little fence of lines that uh, covers our document. So let's, uh, because this is vertical, that's, that's sort of the y-axis, so let's go with green. Uh, go back to layers, let's call that uh, grid y. Back to paths, going to stroke that with our green. And OK. All right, and there we just added a whole bunch of green lines. So if we zoom in, you can see we now have set up our uh, 2D perspective grids. We have the reds coming in from one direction, the blues going to the other vanishing point, and the greens going straight up and down. So uh, let's go back to our layers and group those together. Create a group. Call that purse. Okay, and we can uh, fade that a little bit so that it doesn't compete with us when we're drawing. So now that we have this uh, nifty grid, let's uh, do some two-point perspective on it. Uh, I'm going to switch to black, and I'm going to uh, use the line tool. Uh, one of the neat things about Photoshop is if you use the line tool and you select that option there, then that whenever you create a line, it will automatically uh, commit it to the layer behind it. So let's create a new layer, uh, and let's move that up there. Okay, and let's, let's call that Drawn. Let's call it Sketch. And I'm just going to uh, create a, say, a nice little simple house. So there's sort of a vertical there. And just following the green lines to go up, the blue lines to go in depth one way, the red lines to uh, follow depth the other way. And this is just a really nice and easy way to make sure everything lines up for you just right. And let's find the middle of that box there. And draw it up. And you can see how quickly and how easy it is to just make a, a basic sort of house shape here. And we can, let's see, uh, put a little door in the house. Oops, that's a little bit off. Let's uh, zoom in. At this point, you're just having fun uh, making up shapes, making stuff look right. But maybe uh, a window on the house. Maybe uh, a little 
chimney up here. And you can even like create a little fence around it. And all you're doing is you're following the lines. Uh, you're using the blue lines to go into depth one way, the red lines to uh, go off to the side and sort of depth the other way, and the green lines whenever you want to go straight up and down. And it's just a really easy and convenient way to do two-point perspective. Let's make them further. Okay, and you can uh, switch to uh, drawing regular mode too. To add some more organic details. And uh, yeah, perspective is even good for like doing soft stuff like that. So uh, that that's a quick demo on how to do perspective grids. And um, yeah, and I hope you, uh, if you decide to download this, download this I hope you find it useful.